Welcome to Myanmar. So I had quite an interesting few days trying to get here actually and I almost didn't make it at all because of a pretty big mess up on my end. So in order to relive this wonderful story, we've got to go all the way back to Reno where it started. <laughs> Won't be a long one. I cannot believe this happened. My visa is off by one day, so I was supposed to be going to Myanmar today, and I will not be getting on the flight I was supposed to be on. So I frantically applied for a new visa, booked a different flight, and hopefully I'll get there. <laughs> Let's try this check-in business again. Well, it's been an event. This is not how I thought my first trip to South Korea would go. It's been like this all day. Anyway, I'll keep it brief because I'm never gonna have silence. I'm gonna get on a flight, forward progress. I hope that visa comes through while I'm in the air. There it is. I'm getting on that bad boy soon. Well. A very good morning to you. I've got about 12 hours to kill, but I was able to change my ticket. So I originally booked one to Bangkok because they wouldn't let me board if I had one to Yangon without the visa, but I landed here, my visa got approved. Even though it's a, a weekend and a holiday, if you do the um, 24 hour visa, if you pay the 56 bucks for it, they do get it to you no matter what. So that's really cool. I'm going to finally get to Myanmar really only 24 hours later than originally planned. Thank you, universe. At least there are good lounges at this airport. As I'm sure no one will find surprising, I need a shower and they're free at this airport. I'm stoked about that. And I went carry on only, so I have all my toiletries. Thank you, universe and soul. Airport, you're a gem. Okay, all right. Well, I'm about to board my flight to Yangon. It was all a big surprise, a big exciting surprise. Oh, there goes my camera. All I wanted to say was that you should definitely check your visa to make sure that your dates are correct so that you don't end up like me, kids. And so next time I see you, it'll be in Myanmar, hopefully. <laughs> Hello. It's really quite early in the morning, but I'm in Myanmar now. I arrived pretty late last night, hopped in a cab, and now I am close-ish to the big famous gold pagoda Shwetsagon. I think watching the sunrise there will be amazing, so can't wait to explore. This place is amazing. It's so beautiful. I don't see any other um, white people here. <laughs> But a lot of people are waving, it's cool. It's really beautiful. Sunrise soon. Given that I don't have much time here, I'm trying to check out a couple more things. 
and I feel like walking. Might die though. Oh geez, how am I gonna cross this? Ooh, dang. That's interesting. It was terrifying. Maybe walking is not a thing you do here. Just ducked into a temple because walking is scary, but look how cool it is. Now that I've made it to the temple I was trying to get to, I will share some thoughts. Definitely was not easy to get here, totally my fault, but I'm really glad that I did go through the effort and spend the extra money because it has been so beautiful. Like this temple behind me is just one example of so many beautiful temples all over this city. It's incredible how many there are. And I've heard that there are like, I don't know, millions in Myanmar. Maybe that's an exaggeration, maybe not. So I'm excited to see what else the country has to offer. I also had a really good time seeing the sunrise this morning. People were saying hello, monks were saying hello and it was really cool to feel welcomed on my first day here and also to see the devotion so many people showing up before the sun rose to do their morning prayers and it was mostly actually locals rather than a bunch of tourists which was cool to see so i hope that sets the tone for a less touristy country to visit in southeast asia and some initial observations are that it's a city uh, yangon is a city but it's also a really vibrant one people are really friendly despite it being a city you don't always see that maybe don't walk here though never in my life been so happy to see a sidewalk maybe that's a that was probably a bad call <laughs> i've just been so cooped up i couldn't help myself but yeah maybe don't walk here i definitely see a lot of people wearing sort of a yellow makeup here so i'm curious what that is i don't know if it's religious or aesthetic so i'm curious to see that lots of people wearing the longji longi longji uh, both men and women it's a unisex garment it's like a, a skirt that you wrap around so that's really cool too i've had fun wearing it and finally on my walk i didn't feel like it was right to film it but definitely a lot of wealth disparity you've got people who are I think the haves here, you see BMW dealerships and all that, but definitely a lot of poverty. This is one of the least developed countries in Southeast Asia, so that's definitely something that I'm seeing here. But again, I didn't feel like it's right to film people's homes and their lives like that. I'm really excited though to see what's to come. Headed to Mandalay later today, and I can't wait.